blur them out or cut, cut them from view. I mean, I think all cartoonists were shocked by this. This is, you know, e even when, you know, there's a, a single attack on one person, it seems sort of insane to us. And this, this terrible attack on a, a whole group of people all at once was just, I couldn't believe it when I was like walking into work and saw the headlines running across the TV screen. So I guess I was shocked. Uh, possibly be offensive or bad. I don't think they're, and I, th I think when you were, they, you know, they, they stood for something and they believed in it more and they, then, they, you know, they thought it was more valuable than themselves. I think they, they're, they're quoted many times saying that they'd rather die standing than, you know, uh, than live on their knees. So, I, you know, I think, I think they knew what they were, that these crazy people exist and they were brave because they took that risk. Like we were talking about how comedians are afraid to, to say things and I think political cartoons have a long history of causing problems for people and politicians take like someone, oh, they drew me with a big head and like money bags and <laughs> like, oh, how dare they, you know, like people taking extreme offense to things that don't, to a normal person don't seem so extreme. I think it's kind of interesting how I do feel proud of, of these people and proud of what they stood for and they did and of course it was a terrible attack and horrible and I wish it hadn't happened but the fact that they were willing to stand up and it's just a different you know different breed in the small world of cartoonists um, what they were what they were doing there it's, it's, I feel like that's a bad choice and, but you know I think people are people are very sensitive about certain topics like race and religion and all of these things and I think that if as long as something is really genuinely funny and not <laughs> just shocking or you know crude or or just point pointless just you know um, I think people will accept it be offensive or bad I don't think they're and I, th I think when you were asking me earlier is this I, th I think it's bad that when there's so much self-censorship here that people are worried about offending anyone any possibility of offending anyone so that news organizations don't show these cartoons or blur them or cut them from view. I think that's, that's bad and it, it stifles the creativity and also it's sort of, it's part of the story. It needs to be covered, it needs to be understood. People need to understand what happened here to get, a, to get us here and I think, I wish there were more freedom in, in that respect.